Really? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, two sisters and a meal, episode two. We can't call the first day one. <laughs> <laughs> you realize that we're a weird set, right? <laughs> This is my sister Suzanne. This is my sister Michelle. We make magic together, exploring our country, exploring our people, exploring our culture. One prerequisite is that it be authentic. Doing it with lots of love and lots of fun. Ready. Done specially for if we had this in the catering businesses and we could have cooked a lot of a lot of things in it. You could have cooked a lot of, of you, you could have put people in this and cooked them down. Yeah, yes. Especially people that bother you. Yes, you we, know that sometimes, way? we sometimes have people like that in our life. <laughs> Which way yes. like better the S or the M? Oh, oh, thank you. Oh, yeah, man, you see? You see Michelle, you need to retire. Hold on a minute. Who's been eating my planting? <laughs> no, it's not even. Uh oh. <laughs> Was it me? We would cook with Shaggy would be fun. Mm -hmm. What did he cook with us? Of course he would. Right, Shaggy? Right, Shaggy? It's a sand. Mm -hmm. You could put a caramel sandwich with the cookies and yes. eat the whole thing. Yes. And you can put almonds on the outside. The middle. You're going to put two, it's true. They say in India that a, a, a meal is an experience for the, all of your senses. Mm -hmm. You see, you smell, you taste, you and you have to feel. I, I, agree, I agree with that. Let's roll so, with it. Oh my God, Michelle. <laughs> and we believe the food tastes better with your hands. Mm -hmm. yeah. This part of the bananas are male, and so is the navel. <gasps> uh, really? and, and you remove the navel, How funny is that? and you remove all the male parts. They kill the males. It's so unfair. We love you males. We wouldn't kill you. We would keep you alive in our backyard and use your leaves. And let you do work for us. To make dukunu. We're ready for the road. It is. Okay. Awesome. Ah, Isn't that pretty? Yum. You're going to get covered in it. I yeah, we don't you mind. Are. You mean because of how juicy if it is? It, I would suggest you put it in and leave it in. <laughs> <laughs> One of the things I think we would want to know is sort of how has the divine feminine influenced or or how do you appreciate that or how has it shown up in your work? Look at me again. I'm a man. <laughs> demos, we're going to show you innovative and different ways to um, use traditional island ingredients. Go on again. The farm to table experience is always about the chemistry from the chefs and the people who are there, the guests. And these two really bring an energy that's going to be combustible tonight. I never know with my daughters what to expect, you know. They always surprise us. First of all, they don't fail at anything, so the food is going to be great. I mean, I have no doubt that the food is going to be excellent. I was a guinea pig for some of this food, so I'm really looking forward to seeing how it turns out now. Yeah. There's a certain je ne sais quoi about their styling. Of, they just do things so well. We're looking forward to really great food. We represent uh, a real Caribbean essence, whether contemporary or traditional in the layout, setting and flavor of the event. We have a signature style of cooking that we do, which would be sort of fusing Caribbean flavors and, and ingredients in new and different ways so that the flavor profile is familiar. Mm -hmm. but the actual dish may be a little different yeah. and I think that brings a, a very modern 
um, clean. It's always very fresh too. We do everything fresh, energy too. And it. I think fun is a lot big part of our events. I think yes. we like to have fun at an event. We like our staff to be happy. And that's a big part of Caribbean lifestyle.